Hey everyone, welcome to your daily reading. This is going to be for November 15th, is that correct? Yes, November 15th, Thursday. As you can tell, I still don't have a calendar to cheat off of. I think this is going to be a very interesting reading. I had a very interesting day yesterday. It was really exciting. Uh, but just, again, big theme of just being open, being in the flow, and just kind of taking what comes. With that being said, here is our rune for today. Of course, I didn't look it up. I believe this is called... I want to say it's like An Ansu's or so something like that. An I want to say it's Ansu's. That's what's coming through. Anyway, um, this is the rune of signals. So definitely expect and be open to messages, signs omens if you're into angel numbers definitely keep an eye open to that uh any way that spirit has to communicate to you through you through others to you um, whatever sig whatever kind of signals that you are most open to receiving expect some type of sign if not multiple honestly i would say it's multiple i also feel like this is also and it, this is what is really funny um, I was just having a conversation with a good friend uh, today, actually, about coincidences. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Like, ever. Everything happens for some type of reason. Everything is significant. So I feel like this isn't just, you know, a heads up to signs. This is a, hey, when you get that chance meeting, or you bump into someone, or, you know, you randomly see this person and start talking about things, those are those, like, subtle nudges that the universe is putting in your path be like hey be aware of this i know one thing that i try to be aware of like if i ever i like if something catches my eye or i stub my toe or you know something like that what was what was on my mind the moment that happened like what was cause you, essentially when you stub your toe or anything like that spirit is trying to bring your attention like that thing you thought of like it's trying to bring your focus to that so if anything like that happens today, tomorrow, and the you know, or if it happened yesterday, if you can remember, things like that, that's that's how these signs and these signals are going to come through. And I don't think I've ever talked about this in the daily. Um, I talked about it a little bit uh, in the monthly November videos. So if you've watched your November video, you prob this will sound a little bit familiar, probably. Again, these message, these messages, these readings are general. So you kind of have to take it you know, as it resonates. And honestly, it may, even though it's dated, you know, November 15th, this could be energy for yesterday, tomorrow, next week, you know, so just because we're talking about it and it's dated the 15th, it doesn't necessarily mean it's happening today, this moment, this second. Like, it's not like you're watching this and you're going to walk outside, you know, stub your toe while you're thinking about, you know, buying a car and then you're like, oh my God, that's the car I need to get. This is just something to be aware of do I think it'll happen relatively soon and around this time? For sure. But when exactly will depend on where you are in your journey, how open you are, um, where your mind is at at that moment. Like if you're you know, really stuck in this kind of negative, frustrated energy, obviously you won't be as open. So it may take a little bit of healing until you kind of release and let some of that go, which will open you up to receiving these messages. So don't think it necessarily has to happen today. And if it doesn't happen today, oh my God, I've missed it. There was a sign I didn't see. Don't worry. Don't be frustrated. Again, just be in the flow. That's the biggest part of this message. To really just be in the flow, be open. And once you're open, these signs will come. So just, just be open and ready to receive them. It's the biggest thing. So I pulled a couple decks. So this one will be familiar. This is the Mystical Moments Oracle. I've been super connected to this one recently. I don't know if it's the art or just the deck or, you know, it's messages. It's probably a combo of all those things. And then I'm also going to pull uh, the Angel, some Oracle for cards from the Angel Prayer deck. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take you. Oh, we've had this one before. So we've got Flower Spirit. And we've also got Lullaby. So 
feel like I want one more. There it is. Okay, no, maybe we're, no, okay. I'm not taking these guys. Take you two. We already know what you're about. All right. Let's read these from the book, shall we? Okay. So we've seen a couple of these before. Actually, we had both of these together at one point. So we've got Flower Spirit here. This card shows the tender and sensitive flower fairy, the soul of each plant. She listens with all her heart to her friends and provides a soothing caress when their edges get prickly. By enjoying life and keeping the playfulness in her heart, she is a source of inspiration and joy. Her childlike vision helps her see the good in all things, especially herself. The biggest thing that really comes through for me for this particular card is really friendship. I think if you are having a rough time or looking for those signs, I feel like it may come through a friend. Someone who makes you feel joy again by whatever whatever message it is they're bringing to you. I think friendship is a big part of this particular card for today's reading. And then we've got Lullaby here. This is a cool card. I think this is the first one I've seen that has a man on it. Lullaby. As dusk arrives, we notice a cello player about to play a lullaby to welcome the sleep we need so dearly. The cycles of day and night, light and dark, orchestrate our natural sleep rhythms. We give so much during the day, night is our time to recover. On his instrument, we can see the moon and stars. They are the guardians of our dreams tonight. Rest with nature's lullaby blowing gently through the window. Tomorrow wake to all the days of your life. Oh, I actually like that. So I, to me, this is giving me a lot of Four of Swords energy, so rest, recovery, but also rhythms. It talked about cycles. I feel like rhythms are a big thing, and this could manifest in many ways. I feel like for some of us, if we're in just a frantic, hectic headspace, I think listening to music could definitely help to bring us into a much more positive vibration and a higher vibration, bring us to a more peaceful place. But I think also to what I was talking about, just being in the flow, being in rhythm with the universe and aligning big, big thing, especially when we're talking about being open to receive messages. You have to be open and allowing them to come in before you'll see them. Because I truly believe we're constantly surrounded by signs and signals all the time, probably at like every moment of every day. But it's whether we are open to receiving them or not will be if we recognize them. Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like that one is really just speaking to like being in the flow and being part of the rhythm. But for those of you who are feeling kind of frantic and hectic, you know, and just feel it feels like you're either not moving and being frustrated or trying to move in so many directions, it's just getting confusing, listen to some music. And it, what music you listen to doesn't matter. Whatever speaks to you, that's what you listen to, whether it's, you know, orchestrations, R&B, hip hop, whatever it is, whatever speaks to you is what you should be listening to. And I think it just puts you in a much better headspace. Here's a new one for us. This is the protective nest. Belying her serene expression, this woman is hatching more than just creative thoughts. She is a mother, creator of all. The giant bird's nest on her head holds three eggs and an older bird, already born into the world. Under her skirt, there is a glimpse of a large egg. This card symbolizes motherhood, protection of children, and how children develop under a mother's care. Be aware of how your actions or words can affect a fledgling soul. Oh, let me look at this. Reading that, it makes me think about yesterday's reading and how I was talking about how we're being surrounded by this creative, fertile energy. So even though this card speaks about children, I see these eggs not necessarily as a young soul, but as this new path, this new endeavor, this new project, this creative outlet that, you know, we all kind of have in the horizon that we're incubating and, you know, it's getting ready to hatch. I think we have to be aware of what intentions we're putting out there because that essentially will make or break, you know, how this, how this creative process is born. I love it. And then 
We had two threes yesterday. We had the three of pentacles and the three of cups. And here we have three eggs. So again, that idea of like partnership, working together, building a team. Here we talked about friendship. So I think you're going to get a lot of help through your support system. Or it could even just be through some chance encounter you make and build some type of connection with. I think you'll get a lot of support from that interaction wherever it wherever it's coming from. And then Bloom, who we have seen a couple times. Here we go. I don't even know if I need to read this card. We've had it so many times. Um, but again, it's fulfillment, um, self-confidence. It's all that creativity is starting to take root and blossom and, you know, just extend out from yourself. So it's sharing whatever that creative process is. So essentially, through this process, we are the ones entering Bloom. All right. Got some angel prayers and then we will pull tarot like always i've been trying to keep these videos shorter and shorter but this energy i keep wanting to pull more and more cards so these videos are getting longer and longer let me know how you like the time like are these getting too long would you like them longer do you want to talk more uh let me know in the comments just so i can kind of get a gauge i think that'd be really helpful for me to be more to really be making the best content for you guys One more. Okay. I'm feeling that one. I don't know if I'm feeling these. Probably not. Yep. Yeah. We're going to take it. We're just going to take them all. Funny. Bottom of the deck. Express your creativity. It's a thing, my friends. All right. So we've got a couple. We've got... Raphael, Archangel Raphael, the Divine Physician. The prompt reads, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Right. So, as I was saying in the previous days, we're probably beginning this new creative process to get away from something that's been draining or stressful. Or, I feel like draining is the word I really want to go with. So, I think paying attention to your physical body and your physical well-being is going to be a big thing as we begin to recover from whatever it is we went through. A little heads up, studying and learning. So probably learning some new skills or elevating skills we already have. Thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. This could also be about those signs, taking those in and, and receiving them and really processing them. And we've got inner power. It's an awesome card, right? The Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. Co-creating. Co-creating. Reminder that this this shift, this new beginning we're taking is supporting. I mean, not supporting. It's supportive. It is protected. It is divinely guided. So there's tons of support as we continue this journey. This is hilarious. Trustworthy friends. What am I telling you? Your support team is definitely going to have your back. And I think this is both 3D, your, your friends that you, you know, go to and talk to and, you know, go kiki with. But I think this is also speaking to your angels. Your guardian angels are also there. You may not see them, but they are there helping you and guiding you along. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love who also love you. And then remain positive. Count your blessings. Even though we're struggling through something, that does not mean that we are without blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. Yes. There is many. And is she writing gratitude? She's totally writing gratitude. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare. I hope so. I don't know. I don't know where the focus is. Um, but if you can't see it, um, she's written gratitude on this piece of paper. Gratitude is, like, pretty much the best energy to exude to get you to a higher vibration 
just being grateful. And it just helps you to refocus and look at the positive versus dwelling on, you know, what feels limiting or what feels, you know, blocking and in the way of your abundance. All right. Let's pull a few tarot cards before you call it quits. Uh, this is the Tarot La Nuit. See if we can get some clarification on these signs and this transition we're going on. Because I feel like the moment that everything starts falling into place, is it's almost upon us if it hasn't happened for you already. I feel like it's very, very close. Queen of Cups, so being receptive. What? That was fun. Death card transformation. I love the death card because it speaks to the natural decay of something, something that isn't serving us. We don't. It doesn't really require effort. It's you know. I always use the example of like when a tree dies and falls over. It doesn't, you know, necessarily need to be chopped up and removed, and, you know, it doesn't take all this effort. It just naturally decays, and the new growth springs from it. That's what I see in the death card. Something that isn't serving us is slowly just fading out. It doesn't require action. We don't have to force it. It's just happening, and it'll make way for new. And again, Three of Pentacles, teamwork. I kid you not, you are going to have support from somewhere. A friend or multiple friends are going to come to your aid. You flipped over. We're going to take it. The magician. Manifesting. Taking those resources. Putting them to work. You are creating your new reality. Ooh. Lovers. Again, I'm telling you, romance is coming in for a lot of us. A lot of us. And I think it has to do with the shift in vibration. We are vibrating higher, and not only higher, but more authentically. I think a lot of us have been operating on what is expected, what society expects from us, what maybe we thought we were supposed to expect of ourselves, what our family expects from us. I think we're going into a point where we are now starting to vibrate based on our own desires and our own wants and our own needs, which I think is beautiful. And that, in turn, is attracting this counterpart. Yep. So this is what I was talking about. This Seven of Swords. You know, operating on someone else's, you know, plan. Being manipulated to follow someone else's rules instead of our own. But I'm happy to say that bullshit is over. It is over. It is behind us. We are no longer living that life. That life is over for us. We are moving past it. You kind of jumped. Who was that? Yep. Knight of Wands. Chasing, chasing passions. Chasing desires. We are building a life on our own terms. On our own rules. Which is exactly how it should be. And because of that, we are attracting the person who vibrates with our authentic self. Love this so much. So, remember, you are the magician. You have the power to create this reality, to create this world you want to live in. I think this is awesome. Super, super awesome. Three major arcana cards, so this is faded. There's no stopping this. It is happening. So, rest assured, oh my god, bottom of the deck, the world, completing of the cycle. Amazing. I'm all about it. So... Amazing reading. Today is going to be absolutely magical. Biggest thing, just be receptive. Be open. So feel free. You have your desires. You have your goals. Hold on to that. Release the outcomes. Release the how you expect it to come. Because then it opens up, you know, all the pathways for this to come to you. Versus restricting the universe to bringing it in one certain way. Hold on to the desire. Hold on to the end goal release the how you get there and then the universe will divine it in the best most wonderful way because i guarantee you it'll be better than you expected so just let the universe do its thing and let go all expectations for it all right everyone have an amazing day i love you guys so much 
Um, again, if you want to book a private reading with me, uh, hit me up. All my contact information is down below. Um, hit me up. You can either DM me on Instagram, email me. My Instagram is The Guiding Chariot. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any comments about the reading, especially the length, that's probably a big question I have. If it's too long, not long enough, all that fun stuff. Um, and if there's anything else you want to hear. Um, I feel like in this next week, I'm probably going to start filming December videos so they, you guys can have them closer to the beginning of the month <laughs> instead of halfway. Um, so expect those to kind of slowly start rolling out. Um, yeah, have an amazing day. Be open to those signs. They're coming, my friends. Love you so much. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.